I didn't have a microphone with me when I recorded this initially, so I'm just uh, dubbing it over right now, just bear with me. Um, what I did here is I recently recalibrated my multi-connect, actually three-connect video capture system, uh, and I figured I would play around with it a little. And also we had a couple of visitors from Intel this morning who wanted to see the cave, um, and so for them I wanted to also show them, even though they were more interested in big data, I also wanted to show them some of the remote collaboration telepresence stuff we are doing. So I recorded myself uh, just building a, a molecule like I'm doing right here uh, in the uh, in the VR environment in the VR lab using the head tracked Oculus Rift and the, the tracked input device that you see here. Uh, and then just played that back in the cave so they could see it. But then while I was playing around with that and I had also recently <coughs> excuse me, I had also recently recalibrated the capture system so that the multiple streams are much nicer aligned than they used to be before. I figured I'd just have a little bit fun with it. So what I did here is I recorded myself uh, with the Kinect uh, building that uh, building that molecule I'm building right there. That program is the Nanotech Construction Kit, as usual. And I'm building just my favorite molecule, the C60 Buckminster Fullerene. Um, but then what I did is, uh, I played that back in the same VR environment so that I was again wearing the, the Hattract Oculus Rift and seeing my own recording building that uh, uh, building that molecule, but then I recorded that as well using the Connect. So now I have I'm in there twice. Uh, I'm in there in the recorded version that you're seeing right now, and then I'm in there in the live version, so to speak, where I can walk around my own pre-recorded body uh, and, and look at what uh, look at what I'm doing. But I can also, of course, see my live recorded body if I, for example, look down or hold up my hand, as you've seen uh, a couple of frames earlier. Uh, oh, there's my hand right now. Uh, and the nice thing is the program is uh, interactive as it's being recorded, so I can actually uh, use the input device I'm holding in my hand to then also make atoms and drag atoms around uh, in real time while the recording is playing back. Um, of course, if I interact with a model that's already there, uh, then my pre-recorded self would get extremely confused because the uh, atoms are then not necessarily in the same place. Oops, there was a tracking glitch there are not necessarily in the same place where they were during recording, so then from that point on all the interactions my record itself is doing would be uh, not work anymore, would be an empty space pretty much, so which is what I'm holding back right now. Uh, but I can in principle uh, build a completely separate molecule without interfering and uh, that would actually work, but I'm not doing that here. So the idea is just to show a little bit uh, an approximation of a, of a remote collaborative system where I'm in the same place and instead of being in two different spaces, I'm in our ah, Internet High Five, uh, instead of being in two different places, I'm in the same place but in two different times. Uh, it's the next best thing, kind of. So the uh, now I really got to get the remote collaboration, the real remote collaboration stuff set up uh, and figure out what uh, application to use and then make a proper video of that. This here is just a little stand and I was just something that I did on a lark this morning. So here I'm using a, using an excuse to interact from my real-time view. My record itself just gave up on unbuckling that buckyball there uh, and calling in my live self to then fix it up. And you had unfortunately another tracking glitch, uh, which is why that atom suddenly there appeared out of nowhere. Uh, but then here we go. I just picked up that uh, picked up that buckyball and stretched it back out again. So now my record itself is all impressed with my prowess there. And like I said before, I can also just uh, build a totally different molecule while I'm at it. Now, of course, the uh, pre-record itself does not see what I'm doing here on the right, obviously, uh, and would be horribly confused if he were to now interact with the data, which is why he's not doing that right now, just quitting the program, as you see here. All right, that's it.